This is what the aftermath of an acid attack looks like. The black marks are where the acid has scorched and burned through the bedding. And this is what it sounds like. Ambulance service for Sedra of the emergency. Can you ask him what's happened? I'm not sure what's happened. Excuse me, mate. Excuse me. Hello? Yeah. What's, what's happened, please? Somebody threw acid on somebody over his face. Someone threw acid over his face, apparently. Said acid thrown over his face. Yeah. yeah. Okay, bear me a second. Yeah. Mark Van Dongen has just had a glass of concentrated sulfuric acid thrown over him. It's 3 a.m. In his boxer shorts, he's run into the road in agony, the acid still burning. Is the attacker still nearby? Is he at who, who did this to you, please? My ex, his, his, his ex. Oh, right, my love. Is she still there? Or has, they, has she gone? Is he or she still here? I don't know. He doesn't, That's okay. That's the moment. Don't worry. Mark's father, who'd come over from Belgium, at first, didn't recognise him. It was uh, blood, blood. I saw that his eye was ongeveer helemaal af was. His neus was she quiet. Fifteen months later, in Belgium, Mark van Dongen, still in unbearable pain, ended his life through voluntary euthanasia. In a landmark case, Belinda Wallace, the ex-partner who threw the acid, was charged with his murder. And today, to the evident distress of Mark's father, she was acquitted okay, of that charge, right found guilty instead of attacking his son with acid. Okay, so, uh... Maar ik was zo moedig, ondanks de helse pijn en beperkingen die hij aangedaan werden. Maar uiteindelijk werd, hij, werd het allemaal te veel. Het juridisch proces was een moeilijke en emotie, emotionele ervaring. Ik ben zeer teleurgesteld in de afloop van de zaak. Er zijn alleen maar verliezers in deze zaak. Ik hoop dat Mark nu rust in vrede. Mark van Dongen en Belinda Wallace moved in together in Bristol seven years ago. He was a construction engineer from the Netherlands. She from South Africa, 20 years older, with, it was said, a controlling and vindictive streak. When he tried to leave her, she bought one of these litre bottles of sulfuric acid online. Woke him, he said, one night with the words, if I can't have you, no one can, and threw a glass of acid over him. Belinda Wallace later told police she'd thrown the glass during a fight with Mark, thinking it contained water, that it was actually Mark who'd filled it with acid, attempting to kill her. Yeah, he did, you know, because he said to me it was water. I've got water for you, right. you know, like you come and take your medication and go to bed. He wanted me to, to burn my insides. Can you imagine? One of a host of lies the court heard from a woman fascinated by acid attacks and the devastation they can cause. Mark Van Dongen had full thickness burns to 25% of his body. He was in a coma for four months, blind in one eye, partially in another. His lower left leg had to be amputated and he was paralysed from the neck down. What was it like when he regained consciousness? I had the idea that I... En me, en me riep. En, en ik, ik had het idee dat je daarop reageerde, toch wel, op mijn stem. En uh, ja, dat is. De ene keer was dat meer als, als de andere keer. Uh, ook als ik zijn hand vasthield, dan ik vroeg van probeer eens te kriebelen, zo in mijn hand. Dat probeerde hij dan ook en dat lukte ook heel vaak. He'd regain his speech just, but overwhelming was his despair at the disfigurement, paralysis and pain. He moved to this hospital in Belgium, fulfilled the legal criteria for voluntary euthanasia, and on the 2nd of January last year, shared a final drink with his father, let a doctor administer the lethal injection, and ended his life. Zo'n gruwelijke weg, die, die jonge af heeft gelegd, zoveel pijn. Zoveel jeuk om gek van te worden, helemaal verlamd. Iemand die de kogel krijgt, is heel goed af. Dit is gewoon een martel weg geweest. Dit is gewoon ongelooflijk. 
But did it constitute murder? That was the key question at the heart of this tragic and remarkable case. If Mark Van Dongen chose to end his own life, then could Berlina Wallace be held legally responsible for his death? The defence had long argued that it was doctors in Belgium who actually killed him, not Wallace. And to convict for murder, they would have had to be sure, among other things, of this. They have to be sure that um, the fact that Mark might end up taking his own life would have been foreseeable to somebody looking at the scene at the time and saying, if you carry out this type of attack on somebody and cause severe injuries in the way that um, was done, it would be foreseeable that, that a decision by that person to end their life at some time in the future was the sort of thing that might happen. Something the jurors today rejected unanimously, concluding that the hand that threw the acid was not the hand that ended life. For Mark's father, who for 15 long and agonizing months watched his son's unbearable struggle, it was a devastating blow, one of many.